so yeah there's like you will find around i don't know 60 or 70 uh different videos uh, tutorials color maps everything so there are a lot of a lot of different materials so education materials so just enjoy it yeah and i just try to find like one subject what is going to be readable the readable is the most one of pretty important part for me every time when i play something on leg on i don't know arm back hand whatever neck you know every time is to check how readable it is it's very important for me because people like your client when client leave the shop you know he goes outside he stand on the street go to the store so and tattoo has to be kind of like a part of the body everyone who just look on the person have to understand what's going on there not just like a mess of colors or details you know it's cool when you have like less subjects i mean not 10 of them maybe two or three but big one large and it looks pretty beautiful uh, by one side it's very easy to show some texture and details you know when you have one big subject it's much easier to show everything you know and by the time also in three five ten years it stay looking much better than when you do like thousands of small subjects in for example arm sleeve or leg sleeve you know and by five ten years sometimes it looks like a mess of everything and it's not readable by this distance so it's pretty difficult to place it in a correct way that it stay in the flow of your body flow so they're like one subject this is what i got when i uh, had when i used to work in poland i really love how they work with subject i really love how it works with volume you have to find like some polish tattoo artists they're really incredible in it and you have to check how they work with size and how they work with body especially when we talk about like toffee especially about lukas smiku uh, you know there's like really really crazy sometimes like not especially about these guys but about some of them when you go to tattoo convention you can see there are a lot of t like incredible artists who does like a huge piece for one day you know quality sometimes it depends mm -hmm. but how they work with body how they work with flow how they work with the subject you know with the volume of light it's uh, incredible how, how they simplify so i highly recommend you to follow for example find like a Krakow tattoo convention I can place it here tattoo fest I guess and also tattoo convent you can find over there a lot of really talented guys and you can check how they work how they simplify everything it's incredible it's really really very interesting and very nice thanks for this live brother Rommel thank you so much bro thank you where are you from what movement do you do for picking colors solidly I can say very often it's a round movement but you also have to uh, understand and check for example you have to check how works uh, classic Japanese tattoo artists when they use this sticks to pack color so they every time they kind of like when they do this te tebori uh, it calls tebori probably tebori technique how they pack the color so you have to check some videos it's very interesting how they do lines how they do shading how they do packing color using just the stick you know and using this knowledge you can understand how to pack color as well so sometimes it's not just only rounds you know when i work for example with round shader it's mostly rounds but it's also every time pushing you know and the same when i work with magnum i push every time push ahead push ahead so i try to make color solid so like I said, I don't pull out the needle too far away. So it's kind of like half-half when machine 
runs, you know, you can see like half inside, half outside. Press a little bit and push it all the time. It's really, it's really help a lot. Okay, yep. So I hope I answer it to your question. So yeah, and also on Patreon, there are some videos where I explain everything. How I usually, there's like a few videos about round liner, round shader and round magnum. How I place the cartridge um, to the skin, you know, what angle more or less, because angle is like cool, cool knowledge, but you can really check the 90 degrees or 45 degrees, but you have to more or less visually understand how your machine placing next to the skin. How much needle out of the tip for packing color? I know it depends on the placement of the tattoo, right? And voltage as well. About the voltage I said before, uh, in uh, Cheyenne, you have, I, we have no screen, so I don't know exactly the voltage, but it's mostly horizon position. So it's around eight, nine, I guess. And about needle, I already said, it's around like uh, half inside. So when you run the machine, <clears throat> you can see it's gonna be like half inside, half outside, something like that. Thanks for your replies. Yeah, guys, you can tap like here on Patreon when you like this live stream. So I do it with my pleasure for you to share my knowledge, you know, and help you also to become better. Why not? So you can see when I finish with the black when i finish with dark gray when it's finished with the mi middle tone i left some areas for highlights empty so i decided don't go with don't go with the light color i took the dark red and start to place dark red and red color as well and when i placed the red, I left only room for the lightest color, what is yellow and what is yellow and uh, white, you know, so, and I place right now the light gray and then I will back there inside of the rose and go with orange and yellow. I'm from Ecuador, but I work in New York. Awesome, awesome. I am in New York right now as well, so, Next time when I'm gonna do a guest spot here again, it's probably, it's gonna be probably October. Welcome, step by the shop, say hi. We'll happy to see everyone. So yeah, and you see how I just took the liner and just fill out the empty rooms what I left for light color and just go with the light gray. It's probably number two from from the set. And we can go there. Yeah, in tattoo, the process technique is very important, but very important also creativity, creating designs, you know, designs, work on them, try different, try something new, so, it's very important not only know how to pack the color, but also very important to create something new, to create the design because you can get how, uh, how to pack color solid. But you know, when the design is shit, when the design is very simple and raw, rough, for example, then it doesn't matter how color solid is, you know, the design is bad result is bad as well so we also have to work on designs as well when you have day off when you have time to create something just do that just go it's gonna really improve your skill and push you a lot so you definitely have to do kind of like a 